Hey everyone, Mitch here. Welcome back to this tutorial series on using Albert Rodeo. In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can roll dice. All right, let's get straight into it. Our first step in rolling dice is to open this dice tray, and you can do that by clicking this icon in the top left. We can now see a fully 3D rendered dice tray, and to roll dice, all we have to do is click one of the dice icons. Now that the dice have been rolled, there are a few more things we can see on the screen. First, you will notice up here there is a count of how many of each dice we have rolled. And at the bottom here, you will see an automatic total that has been calculated of all the dice rolls currently in the dice tray. And below that, there is a breakdown of what each roll was. Next, we can re-roll dice by clicking the re-roll dice button here, and this will re-roll all the dice currently in the dice tray. One thing to note here is because we have a fully physics-driven environment, that if you say have an ability that lets you re-roll ones, you can simply grab a dice and throw it against the wall to re-roll it. This will re-roll this dice, but keep the other dice the same. Okay, once we are done with our dice, we can clear out our dice tray by clicking the clear dice button here on the bottom left. The next thing I want to show you is how we can style our dice to better suit our preferences. To do this, we can click the select dice style button here in the top left. Here we have a few options we can choose from. Aside from the looks of the dice, some of the dice will roll differently as well. For example, the metal dice here are heavier than the plastic ones above, and so they kind of bounce a little bit less when you roll them. Or for here, for an example, the wooden dice have a less rounded corners, so they're a little bit quicker to settle on the roll. I'm going to select this iron dice, and we'll uh, show a little bit of rolls with it. Oh, Reroll that. Yeah, a little bit better. If we want as well, we can keep this dice here, if we want to keep this style, and select, say, another dice, the gemstone here, and we can roll that as well, and we can keep two styles of, ooh, nice, we can keep two styles of dice in the dice tray at the same time. Okay, the last bit of functionality I want to show is how we can expand the dice tray for when you need to roll those 12 d6s. So here, we can click the expand dice tray button here, and now we have a larger tray. And so now we can add a bunch more d6s, and when we re-roll, nothing's colliding and getting in the way of each other. And then if we want to, we can uh, minimize the dice tray again, and we can see how there's a bit of collision here. Fix that. Okay, and with that, that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, I hope it has been helpful for you. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and we'll try our best to answer them. 